This video is about the data transfer process between Autodesk Revit and Icon Build. For this example, my task is to lay out the pile cap supporting the ground floor of a building. The first thing you have to do is create a view that only shows this floor. Next, I will create the control data out of the building model, which will later be used in the field to set up my total station. I select the corners one by one by using the measure point tool of the Leica Building Link plugin. Because you never know what obstructions will be on site, I will select more control points that I actually need for my setup. I give them the code name CTRL to be able to later filter for these points in the field. In addition to the control points, I will stake out points from a mixture of two and four pile caps. These points can be generated automatically using the family function of the Leica building link. With this method, it is not necessary to manually pick each corner of the pile cap as we have done for the floor corners. Simply measure one sample and then the points for all the other similar objects in the model will get created automatically. I will also add a different code to these points so I can filter for them later in the field. If I wish to, I could assign attributes and annotations to the code for extra information in the field. Finally, we load the family back into the project, which automatically creates the corner points for all of the two pile caps in the model. Then I repeat the same process for caps with four piles. Now that I've created my points, I want to export them for use in the field. First, I'll select the area of the model to export and then use the function export hexml. As you can see, I've created 320 points, which all get stored in a hexml file. Additionally, I want to create a DXF file from the floor plan to use as a background image to make it easier to orientate myself in the field. In Icon, I've already created a project and now I proceed to import data. I import both the DXF file containing the map and the hexml file containing the pile cap points as reference data. Previously in Revit, I created a hexml file containing only the control points in the same way as shown before. Then I import this file into Icon as a control file so that the points show up as triangles in the map for better visual differentiation. I add a new job to the project name stake cap and in the second wizard step, I add the pile cap points, map and control points. This job will contain all my measurements done in the field. The first step before laying out points is to set up my icon total station. For this, I select setup in the toolbox. Then I choose the method coordinates anywhere and measure and store two control points. This can be done by easily picking the triangles from the map. After finishing the setup, I can proceed laying out the pile caps. In the Layout Points app, I now call up the point list and filter to only show the pile cap 4 points in the map. For that, I use the search tool from the toolbox and select code to list all the points with code PC4P. After that, I assign these points to a stakeout list. Using the list allows to focus on just the relevant points for staking and ignore the ones that are not required for the current job. Activating automatic point selection from the toolbox accelerates the process as the next point from the list for laying out will be selected automatically. When using a robotic total station, the split screen view can simplify the work. Our view can be triggered and the pole position will then be displayed in relation to the user defined orientation. Arrows and corresponding distances are displayed to indicate how to navigate to the stakeout point. Arrow view will change to bullseye view if the target is within 2 meter distance to the selected point. As the target moves around, real time measurement data and guidance text is constantly updated in the info panel on the map. Once the point symbol turns green, the point is set out with intolerance. The stake point stored in a separate layer in the current job to later compare the difference to the design. Using the export function in Icon, we can export the job which contains also the staked points. Icon offers you the possibility to export a file in different formats. For this purpose, we'll choose to export as a DXF. 
Using Revit once more, I import this DXF file back into the model. It includes all field measurements, setup observations, but also my staked and measured points previously done in the field. As I've imported all my field measurements, I can compare these visually with the design model. In this case, I can see that my stake pile cap points are aligned with the design. I can also use my station points for further modeling. As you can see, I can extend my Revit model with real world data. While still using Icon, still in the field.